everybody, this is Sully for Antisocial News. I wanted to talk about media hysteria. And, uh, I think we, we've, we've all seen the Native American with the drum and the smiling kid in the MAGA hat. And, and that was this picture that, that went up all over the news for the weekend. This kid got uh, uh, really demonized. He was baby Hitler. He was the new demon du jour. I was kind of blown away by the situation because I found out, now instantly I saw I saw one of my Native American friends posting about it, saying how horrible it was, and, and you know, of course, he's going off some article that's going off the eight-second video clip. Of course, I mean, my first thought was, okay, you know, instantly I thought this kid probably did something shitty, and that's why it's in the news. And I, I remember thinking, I, t I turned to my wife and said, listen, this, this drives me nuts. I said... This is the whole monolithic viewpoint that all Native Americans are, are right and just and, and all people with the MAGA hats are evil racists. I said, first went to Cherokee, North Carolina. First people I talked to, if I, if I had thought all Native Americans were right and just, I would have thought all Native Americans were vile, hate-spewing assholes ignorant of their own rights and privileges and their own tribal birthright, this dude was just spewing vile bile at me in a waffle house in the middle of the night in Cherokee, North Carolina. He didn't know, he didn't know anything too. It's funny too, because everything he said was like, I know this and blah, blah, and you know, everything he said was wrong. It was all about tribal law and how you know, white people own them and all this. It was, it was all this ridiculous stuff that, that, that legally, federally, not accurate information. Tribally, it's not accurate information. When I did live down there, I loved getting involved with my friends with events and stuff, and then uh, even watching tribal television. Uh, my point is, I did not take that guy's word for it. I did not look at him as defining all Native Americans. And I didn't take what he said, the mean, hateful things that he said, I didn't take that to heart. I was just like, that's one guy. You know, that that's him. He thinks that. It is what it is. That's sad. I went on to get family. I, I, not only did I make Native American friends after that, I didn't let that vile, hateful person poison me. I made friends. Those friends became family. I had two extra moms, countless brothers, sister. I got a whole crew because I didn't let the hate of one person poison me. And I told my wife this, you know, because we immediately thought about that situation. Like, like, okay, so these people are basically going, yes, look at how the MAGA folk are, are this one monolithic thing and they're defined by this evil, racist person who's doing something despicable. And then the story evolved from there, where it wasn't just this kid being evil and mean, which, by the way, the eight-second clip showed him smiling. He's wearing a MAGA hat, and he's smiling. Why he's smiling is because he's being confronted by a protester, and there was a huge preliminary situation leading up to this moment, once again, pointing out all this kid did was smile. The stuff that was going on before this, and I, I'm still so blown away at what was omitted from the story. It's kind of like when I talked about the Rohingya situation, and how the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army is always omitted from the discussion of what's going on with the Rohingya. In this situation, they wouldn't discuss ARSA. So what's the ARSA in this situation? What's the, uh, what, what, what group is not being discussed that might be a little worse than a kid smiling? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the, the black Hebrew Israelites, which I don't know if anybody out there knows this group, but they are I'm smiling because they're so ridiculous. They're so over the top. They are a hate group and a cult. So it's a cult that is also a hate group or a hate group that is also a cult. Their hate and their racial uh, venom and their anti-Semitism and their homophobia is all based in cherry-picking scriptures that allow them to say, that all the Caucasians and Asians and, and Semitic people are bad, and blacks and Hispanics somehow are the Jews from the Bible. Now, I say somehow condescendingly because, you know, the Bible doesn't... The Bible likely does not contain uh, references to 
basically any ethnicity that we would know of in a pure form nowadays. Uh, a lot of people go, oh, they'd be Arabs, or they'd be this, or they'd be that. And I say, they're the people in the damn Bible. Read the book. <laughs> Just enjoy it for what it is. They don't need to look like you or, or be your same ethnicity for you to enjoy what they're saying. Anyway, these people are racist, so they think that the people in the Bible have to look like them, and they have to they be like them, and uh, and if you don't look like them, uh, in in the two groups that they've arbitrarily chosen to be the Bible people, Hispanics and Blacks, if you're not in one of those two groups, uh, then you an Edomite. They have a very bizarre, I don't know where all their crazy doctrine comes from, but basically they believe that Space Moses is gonna come down and enslave all the white people. You got little charts they've made where they've like cut out pictures from coloring books and like stuck them onto Independence Day movie poster. So it's a really wacky bunch of people, and they're not just protesters. I, I love that too, where, where they're like, oh, the, there was another group of protesters. At protesters, it's a cult hate group called the Black Hebrew Israelites. So I'm gonna put links in the description below to stories about this guy. 